What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we're coming from you not on location at Einstein Brothers Bagels because uh, they don't want us there. <laughs> we're at some brewery, uh, but we are reviewing Einstein Brothers Bagels. Uh, the initial idea was to get two of the new Tastes of the Midwest uh, sandwiches that are a Annie's Mac and Cheese bagel. So you're talking about an actual bagel. Well, actually, not really an actual bagel. It doesn't have a hole. It, <laughs> I don't even know if that qualifies as a bagel. But a bagel-like sandwich bread with Annie's mac and cheese on top and a six-cheese blend. It blends into a very uh, orange cheese. <laughs> it looks like cheese. Uh, nonetheless, they do have a, a breakfast version and a lunch version. Um, since they only had one of the mac and cheese bagels in stock, uh, for the breakfast version, we're actually going to be using their cheesy hash brown bagel, which has been around uh, a bit longer, but, you know, still kind of interesting. They give us a chance to kind of review what's inside. And what that is, is some cheddar cheese, some uh, bacon, and some eggs, so pretty pretty standard uh, breakfast sandwich concoction. Really, the thing that's really elevating that is uh, the mac and cheese bagel around it. Um, these are all part of a new Flavors of America line. It's six bagels that Einstein came out with all at once. But the weird thing is it's, it's Flavors of America, but there's, there's the West, there's the South, and there's the Midwest, and that's it. There's no... <laughs> If you're from the north or the east or the northeast, Einstein does not have the bagel for you. You're going to have to find a new... It's every bagel. You're, it's every bagel. <laughs> Basically every... Yeah. So the, the, I guess the flavor of the northeast is actual it's bagel. <laughs> and for, you know, those of us in the south or the west or whatever, uh, we don't really eat those. So you got to throw mac and cheese on top of it. So... <laughs> Uh, so anyway, um, I'm going to get into the breakfast bagel and, you know, like I said, I apologize that I wasn't able to do this double the mac and cheese, although I guess I could just take, I mean, it's the same, That's same true. top. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to successfully peel this cheese off. There we go. Just getting a little bit of extra bread on there. Nothing wrong with that. This is all carbs all day anyway. So, uh, anyway, we got... So now we do have a mac and cheese uh, breakfast sandwich. So everybody's favorite breakfast noodle, <laughs> macaroni and cheese. So here's the thing. There's a give and take with putting the mac and cheese on top of the bagel and leaving it out all day until somebody orders one to warm it up, it's very dry. Like, you do get a little bit of the, um, you know, you leave mac and cheese out for a while and, you get, and it gets like chewy, like real chewy, almost like a gummy. <laughs> That's kind of what the texture is like. It is definitely cheesy uh, because it's got the cheese inside it has the cheese that's with the mac and cheese. It has the cheese that is the, forms the base for the mac and cheese. So it's definitely cheesy. Um, the bagel, the bagel's okay. Uh, the cheese is, the cheese is, is kind of weird. It's like, um, like the super greasy three, like see-through cheese. <laughs> uh, the bacon's, the bacon's all right. The bacon's kind of crispy, which is good. It's got the uh, it's got the egg on it that um, it's pretty much your standard your standard fast food egg, but really you know let's face it what everybody's interested in is that mac and cheese topper. Add in cheesiness, but it would definitely be better. Go ahead and try some of that, ma'am. It would be better to. And less interesting, so better tasting, if they would take a scoop of fresh mac and cheese and like put it in the sandwich, because it does get, it just gets a little, gets a little, little stale on top. You know, I mean, we, we ordered ours at, 
about four o'clock and uh, p.m. <laughs> and uh, you know it had been sitting around for a while, so you know. It doesn't hold up all that well to time. I'd say making these fresh is paramount. Getting these fresh is probably really to your advantage. And we're going to see what the lunch one is like. Now, of course, mac and cheese is a natural for the lunch. It's a ham sandwich, essentially. It's got Swiss cheese and slices of ham. It's got a tomato and some real green lettuce. It's supposed to also come with mayo. Mayo's not really my thing, so I'm doing it without. But um, yeah, let's see how the uh, the lunch option fares. It's got onions in it too. I taste them. I didn't see them. They're in there. You know, the inside of the sandwich, the flavors are a lot bolder in this one. The ham, the tomato, the onions really coming through. And it is really masking the flavor of the mac and cheese bagel. You know what would probably be better is um, if you're going to go out and get one of these, maybe just get the mac and cheese bagel. Like, just the bagel. You know what I mean? Like, because, you know, that's what you want to taste. Really, what all I'm tasting in here is this is basically a, the world's tiniest Subway sub. <laughs> So, you know, and not that and not that it's bad, it's really not, but it's uh certainly not a it's certainly not a very um it's not a very additive effect to have the mac and cheese bagel on the sandwich. So I don't know, but I mean it is it is it is alright. I mean in a pinch, I could see how this would make a good lunch. Well, once again, that bite, really weird farm. Can you taste much mac and cheese in that sandwich? A hint. Just but a it's hint? It's a good sandwich. It is a good sandwich. I like the taste, actually. I think I can taste the mac and cheese. Really? It's just straight bagel. Yeah, straight bagel. All right, so we do have a little bit left, so let's give this a shot. There's no Mac on this one, so I'm going to give you this one. There you go. The move is just the straight Mac and cheese bagel, by the way. Now, one thing that kind of complicates matters at Einstein right now is these sandwiches are buy one, get one free. If you make an Instagram post with your favorite Einstein product, you get a coupon for buy one of these, get one free. Uh, it's called like a staycation or something. And then they're also giving these away. So buy one, get one free as well. Memorial Day weekend, 4th of July weekend, and Labor Day weekend. So that seems like the time to try them. And, uh, but that's just for the sandwiches, not for the bagel itself. And I don't know, did you notice, is the bagel itself just available? I mean, it's got to be, right? It's a bagel. Yeah. They'll probably sell you a bagel at Einstein, but you know. I also don't put it past them to not sell you a bagel. <laughs> but um, we had some issues with Einstein. I'm not, not, not a fan. We're not going back. So if you really like this video, tell Einstein that you're really glad that Consumer Time Capsule reviewed their food. Don't tell me because otherwise I'm not going back. We're gonna start going to Wendy's instead of Einstein. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, the one thing I will say is in terms of the gimmick grade, these are a really, a really interesting idea. I mean, you put mac and cheese on a bagel, literally, not just like inside it, but on top of it. That's pretty interesting. That's gonna get me to your rest excuse me, to your restaurant pretty much no matter what. So I give that, I give that like a solid eight and a half. Uh, real, real good idea. Um, you know, they, um, they, they certainly figured it out in terms of like, the, the mac and cheese isn't messy, it's not even really greasy. And, uh, and that certainly is gonna be adding to the, to like the flavor profile. Um, but the flavor does get lost when you're using it in sandwich form. So, uh, you know, really, I would say 
In terms of a capsule countdown, I would say first place, I'm gonna, or excuse me, second place, I'm gonna give to the breakfast version. Um, it's, it's just like par for the course everything. It's really, it's like the kind of breakfast stand you'd get at 7-Eleven, but with a mac and cheese topper, <laughs> essentially. So, um, I don't know, I give it like, I give it about like a six out of 10. Um, you know, solid, but not worth really going out of your way. Um, the sandwich itself, the, uh, the lunch sandwich version um, for the cheesy mac and cheese is, uh, I'd give it, I'd give it about a seven. I mean, it's a good, it's a solid sandwich. It's pretty small for $7 though. I mean, if you're looking for a value play, um, you know, this, the breakfast version is like five fifty, and the, in the, the lunch or di I guess lunch version is about seven bucks. So, um, it does come with a bag of chips. So, uh, you know, why not try them while we're here? Jalapeno chips, some kettle cooked chips, you know, Maybe these will sneak into that capsule countdown. Not bad. The jalapeno flavor is real strong. I like it. So if you get if you get the jalapeno ones, it's it's got some spice to it. It's pretty nice. It's almost like a Zaps chip in every way. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if Zaps actually makes these. <laughs> Real toasty, real crunchy. I won't rank them, but they're solid. But yeah, first place is going to go to the lunch sandwich. I mean, look, guys. It's mac and cheese on a bagel. I mean, it's pretty darn interesting. I've never seen it done. It may never get done again. I'm going to go ahead and try the bite of the hash brown one, too, while I'm at it. Super dry. <laughs> Almost like those potato sticks, like the French's potato sticks. That's really more what that's all about. So, you can try some of that too if you want. There's some bacon stuck to the bottom of it. I mean, it was certainly worth a shot. Uh, you know, maybe they'll end up integrating, uh, you know, other parts of the country into their menu. I mean, something... Uh, Something more interesting because the other, the other regions, which I think were the South and the West, were pretty conventional picks. The Midwest, they just went all the way wild by throwing mac and cheese on it. So um, I don't know. Who knows? Could end up meaning more good ideas are still to come, or it could end up meaning that uh, you know they only want part of the country represented and uh, they don't really care about the other. <laughs> if you live in the North or the East, Einstein does not want your business. Uh, nonetheless, hey guys, you know, I tried to give an, an open and an honest review, you know, but you really should have let us film at your location, Einstein. We got threatened with arrest if we stayed. That's pretty messed up. We're just trying to film a nice review about your good idea. That's it. So, uh, you know what? Screw Einstein bagels. And I'll miss you till I see ya. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. I'm done with talking about Einstein bagels. Never again. We're done. That's it.